Hi, this is the monkey's uncle in the Reti, and it's a beginner's level trap. Knight f3. White goes for the popular Reti opening, which is a flexible system and doesn't yet commit white to any immediate pawn structure. Black plays the solid d5, and now white goes for c4, and this is in keeping with the type of hypermodern ideas which were espoused by Reti and his peers, chipping away at the black centre. If black chooses to capture the pawn on c4, then logical is e3, releasing the bishop on f1, which wants to collect that pawn on c4. Black can try a pin, bishop g4. Now the knight on f3 is pinned. But we've, we've spoken before about the difference between a relative pin and an absolute pin. White now continues bishop takes c4. Black develops the knight to f6. And now an interesting move by white. The knight, which is pinned relatively, jumps to e5. And now if black is too hasty and decides to pick up that queen now, that vulnerable queen on d1, then of course white is going to mate with bishop takes on f7. Okay, this isn't a particularly high level trap and you've got to be very gullible to fall for it, but it nonetheless highlights the idea of the relative pin as opposed to the absolute pin and the pitfalls which can occur if that pin is released. So I hope it was useful. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.